welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty. Joining me today is Drew Martin at Drew Martin Bets on Twitter. And this gentleman in the mint green is not named Minty. His name is Teddy Covers at Teddy underscore Covers. On Christmas Eve, December 24th, we've got the Hawaii Bowl, BYU versus the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Drew, what do you think of this game? Well, Christmas Eve, a singled out college football bowl game. I'm excited for this one. Going to be a lot of tickets written on it. And uh, Minty, I'd go after this. You know, BYU, the, just four and eight against the number. They were a money burner this year. However, they both played Boise State. BYU beat Boise State. Hawaii lost to them twice, again, in the Mountain West Championship game. So that is an advantage, you know, sort of matchup-wise for BYU. Yeah. But this is a BYU team that lost two key road games that I really kind of faulted for here. USF and at Toledo, they lost both of those games straight up and ATS. So it is a team that hasn't always performed up to the top standards here. And it, it speaks towards their ATS record, just four and eight losing money. Hawaii plus two at home, I think's the side. Nick Rolovich, what he's been able to do with this program. And we know, you know, Hawaii high school football has gotten a lot better. He's keeping the recruits there on the island. And this is a nine win Hawaii team, you know, nine and three, not including Boise State on their schedule. That is a heck of a season for this Rainbow Warriors yeah. program, whether the quarterback's McDonald or uh, the younger kid Cordero. They're throwing it all around. I think Hawaii plus two at home. Only two bowl teams are playing a home game for their bowl, for their bowl game. Hawaii's one of them, and I, I like the home dog here. Good point. Teddy. So, interestingly enough, both teams that are playing a bowl game on their home field are dogs at home. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Hawaii's a dog in this game for a reason. You say they're nine and three. If you don't count the Boise games, but BYU is probably the team that's most like Boise that they played this year, or that, that you know, in terms of the, the advantage that Boise had over Hawaii was they dominated those two games in the trenches. Yeah. I don't know if you why. I mean, they beat them up on the offensive line of scrimmage and they beat them up on the defensive line of scrimmage. And when you talk about the matchup advantage that a, a team like BYU is going to have in this game, remember. The BYU kids, these are not 18, 19-year-old kids. These are kids that are on the back end of missions, mm -hmm. okay? And on the offensive line, you're talking about, you know, the kids that are... 25-year-olds. <laughs> they're they're mm -hmm. bigger and older and more physical <laughs> than Hawaii on both sides of the line of scrimmage. And I worry about Hawaii in, in that regard. And when you say, gee, which kids are most likely to be distracted by, you know, as you worry about that in Vegas, when teams come to Vegas, you worry about that in Hawaii. And... You know, the, 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 the kids from Provo are not likely to be distracted given the environment mm -hmm. uh, and given who they are. So I, I do think that BYU has edges in this ball game, and I'm not in any rush to back the home dog in this one. Uh, and if I'm right about BYU at the line of scrimmage, I'm not playing the over in this game either. Um, no. it, I, it, we, we've seen Hawaii's defense at, at times step up and play surprisingly well uh, for mm -hmm. full games. Um, and if I'm right about BYU's ability to control the line of scrimmage on defense, Hawaii's not going to be marching up and down the field in this game. And so uh, I lean under total-wise. Okay. And Teddy, good point in terms of Hawaii defense. At times, you know, mainly their, their, their front seven, front eight has stood up more so than in, in years past, talking about yeah. the Rainbow Warriors defense. So Agreed. that's one, one thing maybe to put in your pocket there. But it, it's also a, a week away as we're talking right now, this being on Christmas Eve. And anytime you're, you're talking about Hawaii this time of year, you know, watch out for the wind as well, Minty. Mm -hmm. Ah, good point. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Teddy. $9 Monday at wagertalk.com and sportsmemo.com. All daily packages for Monday's action are only $9, including any 5% best bets, normally priced at $40.